What's going on guys always win here and welcome back to my channel today we are playing some clash of clans and guys i read the email yesterday about injustice 2 and uh you know what i think they're lying to me but that's besides the point i'll talk about that probably tomorrow or something like that but anyways let's go ahead i need to okay not gonna worry about chat but we are in war currently, and I think from what I know, we are still winning war right there, 13 to 0. We are trying to do a perfect war. I just made this clan four or five days ago. So if you guys want to go ahead and join it, you can. It is called Resurrected. And uh, you know what, guys? We are filled with some pretty, pretty good people. And uh, let's go ahead. We got Larry's Awesome. All these people right here that are in. And I'm sorry, we only want Max Town Hall 7 Plus. So if you're not at Max Town Hall 7, I'm sorry. I, I'm not going to let you in. Because we are trying to become a good war clan and stuff like that. So that is going to be very awesome. Still working on the main base. Over here in the village, I got the Builder Machine going. Battle Machine. Keep calling it Builder Machine. But I got the Battle Machine going to level 2 right there. And you know what? I still got 3 attacks. But we're not going to focus on that today. Today we're going to be watching our replays in war so my rules in war for my clan is you attack your mirror you don't attack your recommended you attack your mirror and you try to get two stars or plus three stars is what we're looking for but for now because we are a newer clan two stars plus is fine but the rules are okay rule number one you attack your mirror rule number two you save your attack for cleanup and if everybody saves their tax for cleanup, we can get a perfect war. So, that's how it's working right now. We got Pipidos, attack number two. He got a two-star. Very scary stuff. Then we have me. I attack number five, and I attack number six. Six was my original attack. Five was my cleanup. So, let's go ahead and watch the replay of my attack on number six. So, look at this, guys. First off, I'm going to go ahead and pause it. And what the heck is this base? Somebody please tell me what this guy's base is because honestly, I've never seen a base like this I've obviously seen worse, but I've seen way better and uh, what the heck is this guys? Come on. What the heck is this? So This base is supposed to go ahead and distract wall breakers So you can't break in the walls as easy, but there's only one layer of walls So even if it were to do that, there's really it's it's not that good of a base Okay, I don't know what the heck this guy was thinking about or whatever he was doing, but that's okay so yes we are a level one clan these guys are level nine so they're probably going to be attacking us later tonight but hopefully we can pull something through and most of their wins have been on inactive clans so they've gone like 25 and 9 so 9 being the inactive clan so hopefully we could pull something through this war and uh we did lose our worst first war sadly so we're trying to come back with the second war and check this out so here, this base distracts wall breakers. All these extra walls on the outside, you see wall breakers will run to those and try to explode them. So, that I kind of knew that was going to happen. I didn't know exactly it was going to happen. Like, I was on edge about it. I was like, will this actually work or not? But, as you will see, once I start the video, you'll go ahead and see that it actually does work. So, if you're attacking a base like this, I definitely recommend bringing earthquake spells so then you can go ahead and get these walls right here this wall of walls and all of these walls right here so then you just have a clear funnel straight in so let's go ahead and start the replay and let's check out what's happening so here we go i was actually sitting on this base for quite a while and i was like okay which area i'm gonna attack i thought i was gonna attack from down here or up here because that was the easiest way to get into the clan castle but then you know most people have loons or valkyries and i was hoping he had loons and a dragon or a dragon or something like that. I was hoping he didn't have Valkyries because Valkyries maxed out will absolutely crush Go Wipe. So, as you will see here, these wall breakers go into the walls. And I start the earthquake, get those walls open, and watch this. So, I send in wizards after Golem, typical Go Wipe. And once all that stuff is broken, I go ahead and send in my clan castle with my Golems and my level 10 king that just finished up two days ago. 
I, guys, the king is such a beast. So I go ahead and rage up for the wizards to go ahead, run in there, and take out that clan castle before the clan castle goes ahead and absolutely destroys my army. Then right here, I go ahead and play the heal because there are so many wizards here. I didn't want to lose any of them. And I kept those alive for a bit. And over here, we got the we got the P.E.K.K.A.s going in on towers. And then we got my King Solo doloing out. And we have the Wizards. Now, check out all these Wizards. Uh, the, go the Golem was tanking a little bit for the Wizards. But we have so many here. This cannon is not going to be able to keep up. And uh, we obviously got level 6 Wizards. In my second attack, I had level 7 Wizards. So, level 6 Wizard guys are beast. I cannot wait to get to Town Hall 9. But, check out that Giant Bomb. It explodes, doesn't kill every single wizard, but kills quite a few of them. And uh, you know what, basically from this point on, I was like, okay, you know what, this guy's done. There was a cannon left, and if that cannon would have gotten through all those barbs, the rest of these wizard wizards, and my, my golem, and my P.E.K.K.A., I would have quit the game, to be honest. But anyways, I would have won either way, because I did have minions. This is why it's always good to bring minions, because if that cannon were to do something clutch... I don't know how well then the minions would have taken it out so always bring up cleanup troops because look at this if I wouldn't have brought up cleanup troops it would have dragged on for a long long time and I, I hate waiting so bring cleanup troops always worth it and right there we get the hundred percent our first try our first war battle so let's go ahead we're gonna head into number five and you know what? I did some pretty wrong things in this battle okay so as you guys will see this base is, you know, it's a, it's an alright war base. I mean, it's there's definitely, definitely better war bases out there. But this one's alright, okay? So, this one definitely had me thinking a little bit. If my troops would be matched for Town Hall 8, I definitely would have 3-starred. But, check this out. So, the clan castle, you see, you can go in from over here and take that out. You can go in from down here, get it to it easy. Or you can go up here, like I did, and I will, and it's going to be a little harder to get to. But, it is also closer to the town hall if you attack up here. So, the reason I attacked from this corner over here is because if I were to go ahead and open up these walls, yes, definitely could have went in and I would have taken out all these rows right here, but my troops would have followed around the base. So, that is definitely not what I wanted to happen. And if that would have happened, I definitely would have failed even more. So, here we go. I'm going to go ahead, play down my earthquakes, open up those walls, and that's when the attack's gonna start all right here I go I'm placing down the earthquake spells I go ahead drop them in they're gonna obviously explode that wall and here we go we have a clear shot in two three layers of defenses and we get into that town hall so I go ahead start up a golem place a wizard to help take out the cannon keep my golem alive a little bit and I come in with the wall breakers to break open that wall and here we go I send in everything because there's no outside buildings to really distract my troops and you know I keep I accidentally forgot to place my last P.E.K.K.A. I, that was obviously a mistake on my part. That was very bad, but I go ahead, heal up everything in here as they die to a bomb. And that was, that was horrible right there. But I wish I wouldn't have forgot to place that P.E.K.K.A. Would have been way better if I wouldn't have forgot, but it could have been worse. So either way, I don't know, but it is bad of me to go ahead and forget to place that P.E.K.K.A. Because look at this, it's going all the way around. Wizards are taking things out, obviously, but if everything was in here, everything would be tanking more for the wizards, and we definitely could have got a better percentage than we did. But King is about to go down. We're going to see him drop. I used his ability a little earlier to go ahead and get through that dark elixir storage and all that, but we still have a pretty good health P.E.K.K.A., and we still got a lot of wizards and a whole nother P.E.K.K.A. over here just beating down those towers. So here... I was thinking, you know, I, look at this, look at this. I tried taking out this archer tower so hard, and she stayed on zero health. So, here we had a lot of wizards, but as you can see, this archer tower right here is going to be sniping on them, sadly. But then, here's what brought my, you know, here's what brought my hopes back that I could three-star this. For one, I had archers down here, and for two, I had a wizard left with the golem. But, of course, that archer tower just had to be in range of my wizard, and uh, ended up taking out the wizard. So, I was like, alright, whatever. That happened, but, you know, a 2-star 86% is actually not a bad 2-star, and it's not a bad attack. But, 2-stars don't win war, 3-stars do. So, I mean, I definitely could have done better, but I know somebody in my clan is going to go ahead, clean up that base, and take it for the 3, which is going to give us an extra star. So, that is definitely what I'm looking for. 
And right here we have we have Shooter. He three starred him first try. We got True Savage ended up cleaning number eight, and then he ended up actually failing number five. That's why I went ahead and attacked it. And then you obviously have me attack. Let's go ahead. We're gonna watch. We're gonna watch Pippa Dose's replay, and let's just check out what he could have done better. So everybody could always improve on their attacks and such. So right here, what I think he definitely should have done is go ahead and play earthquakes right in here because if he would have gone ahead and play them right on that block that would have opened up one two three four five layers or so of that would have five layers of like defenses town hall the queen everything that definitely would have been a better strategy and better attack place to go on but that's okay he still got the two star so Let's go ahead and watch. He does go ahead and he actually attacks from down here, as you will see. He goes ahead and plays all Earthquakes down there, and that's going to open up to four compartments. And here he goes. I ended up giving him a Golem for CC. He goes in with two Golems. His Wizards are going in. Now, here's the problem. He's got four Teslas going down on one, one Golem. That Golem is definitely going to get wrecked by four Teslas. And then there's my Golem. So he goes ahead and he heals up a little bit to help keep those Golems tanking just for a little bit longer and he goes in with the valkyries check that out giant bomb goes down he's not going to be dropping another heal spell for quite a while there's another giant bomb not going to be exploding anything but wizards go in so does the queen they're going to take out the cc and that is definitely going to be good now here goes the queen and some wizards up here but check this out look at all this he definitely should have played a heal on maybe those that definitely would have been the better decision because he did try to predict the heal for those hog riders and it ended up actually failing for him but thank goodness he took out that archer tower and his valkyries are going to go ahead and clean up the rest of the attack for him so definitely could have been some better plays there but he still didn't do too bad and the two star is definitely going to help out because then we have larry our number one guy who can go ahead and three star this base so that's definitely going to help out in war but i obviously think this would have been a better better spot to go ahead and break through with the earthquake because he could have sent golem here and then broke through the walls i don't know some things happen some things don't it just depends not everything goes the way you want but he goes ahead plays his king and that is going to give him a 63 percent two star so we are having a good war so far if you guys enjoyed the video go ahead hit the thumbs up if you guys are enjoying the clash of clans videos also give the video a thumbs up and if you guys want me to go ahead and keep bringing clash of clans Brawl Stars and Clash Royale to the channel go ahead hit that thumbs up and let me know down in the comments below And if you guys are at all new to my channel hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow. Peace out